welcome to EHEF Indonesia 2020 goes online. This is institution webinar series. My name is Dita. I'm going to be your moderator for today. This webinar is going to be presented by Campus Spain, uh, represented by Ms. Gosia Kozira here. Please stay tuned until the end of webinar because we will hold a QA and a session. If you have any question about presentation or anything, related to the country's higher education, you can submit your question in YouTube's comment section anytime throughout the presentation. And now please welcome Ms. Gosia Kozira from Campus Spain. Welcome, Ms. Hello, thank you, terima kasih, selamat siang, selamat sorry, I'm never sure of that. Um, good morning from Spain anyways, my name is Gosia, I'm the Director of Admissions in Campus Spain, I'm especially focused on Indonesia and uh, helping Indonesian students to, who decide to study in Spain um, to come to Spain and, cho and to choose our programs. So very, very briefly, I will share my presentation with you, uh, give you some more important details about the programs and about our institution, hoping that at the end of my presentation, you will be, uh, you will be asking um, many interesting questions. All right, so um, Campus Spain is a private institution. Uh, however, we are endorsed by our local government. We also uh, try to collaborate closely with the Spanish uh, consulate uh, in Jakarta. And our main mission is to uh, encourage students to choose Spain as their destination for university study, both for bachelor's and for master's studies. So we try to promote uh, Spain as a country uh, for your university studies. Spain has some very important advantages. Um, if I had to highlight a few, the most important ones, I would say it's a very safe country. It's a um, country free from any uh, threat uh, of uh, any kind of criminal offense or uh, attacks or robberies. It's a very tolerant, very inclusive and very open country in the country where students feel like at home. These days, what's also very important is the country with one, with one of the best healthcare systems in the whole world. Uh, if I had to show you Spain just in a few images um, to give you an idea about the country and about what the country is famous for in, um, in your country, in Indonesia, I would have to start with football, with sports. Everybody in Indonesia knows Real Madrid or Barcelona or the famous uh, tennis player Rafael Nadal. So uh, there are many students who actually choose studying in Spain. Uh, to specialize uh, for bachelors or masters related in physical education, sports management, football management. We also can help you uh, to access programs that are um, for becoming a football coach, or there is even a special program in Campus Spain called Spanish and Football, where students who play football in their countries can come to Spain and try to become a football player, a professional football player while playing in a professional football team in Spain for one year. Uh, Spain is also famous from uh, filmmaking and audiovisual content production. So the only production hub of Netflix in, uh, in Europe is here in Spain, in Madrid. So there are many students who choose Spain to study audiovisual communication or film production, um, both for bachelor's and for master's studies. So La Casa de Papel, The Money Haste, I guess some of you know this series. Indeed, it's a totally Spanish production. And yes, I know it's, um, I'm happy to know that there are many students from Indonesia who watch it. Spain is a very beautiful country. It's the second uh, most visited country by the tourists in the world, which means that uh, you can go to some of the most beautiful beaches in the world in summer, if the Bali allows me to say that, or you can learn how to ski in the mountain in the winter. Um, you can join some very unique festivals, um, enjoy flamenco music, Spanish guitar, um, the architecture is very famous, very unique, and there are some very architect, very good architecture schools as well here in Spain. And then there is one more sector that is very, very famous in Spain and that attracts a lot of international students, which is fashion. So what you can see on your screens right now are some uh, very famous brands. You can see Zara, Bershka, Pull and Bear, Massimo Dutti. Um, all those brands are Spanish. So uh, Zara, for example, is uh, belongs to a Spanish company. It's a 100% Spanish brand. 
Um, so is Meliat, Melia Hotels. You probably know the famous Gran Melia Jakarta Hotel in Jakarta or many Melias in Bali. Well, well all, those hotel, all those hotels belong to a Spanish company called Melia Hotels. So um, all those companies are your potential future employers. These are companies who will be very open to hire a young professional who knows Bahasa Indonesia, who understands Indonesian mindset, but who also stayed in Spain, learned Spanish, had education experience in Spain. So these are um, very unique uh, professional paths for students who decide to study in Spain and who decide to learn our language. Um, moving forward to the universities, in Spain we have 50 public universities and 35 private universities. Campus Spain can be your pathway to absolutely any of those universities, which means that we will be happy to help you with the admission to any public or any private university in Spain you choose. We'll be the ones who will help you to choose the best university for you, the most suitable university for you, and guide you through the whole admission and enrollment process. So um, normally when we work with students from Indonesia, we would recommend you to opt for some of the public universities. Why? Because uh, in Spain, public universities are normally considered very prestigious um, and academically challenging ones, which means that you will be getting a diploma from a very, very good university. And at the same time, those universities are very affordable. This is because the tuition fees in public universities in Spain are subsidized by the government, which means that students only pay a part of the tuition fees. In some cases, this part is very, very small. So there are some very famous universities in Spain, some of the most prestigious and most famous universities in Spain, where students from Indonesia can study for approximately 12 million rupias per year, 12 million per year, not per semester, per year. I will tell you a little bit more about the tuition fees in a while, but I just wanted to draw your attention to the fact that studying in a public university in Spain uh, for Indonesian students is highly affordable. Um, of course, if you decide to study in Spain, you will benefit from all those privileges uh, linked to being a European Union student. So first of all, you will be free to move uh, between countries, uh, visit other European Union um, countries without an additional visa, without any uh, border check, um, and quite affordably as well. Uh, Spain belongs to European higher education area. Of course, you know that that implies a lot of advantages and benefits. And the most important one is that uh, your diplomas will be recognized worldwide and that all the universities in Spain follow the top quality education standards imposed by the European Union. And finally, and this is probably my favorite advantage of studying in Spain, um, Indonesian students and Spanish universities can benefit from the scholarship scheme called Erasmus Plus. So you can receive scholarship that will cover even more um, of your tuition fees or your cost of living uh, while studying in Spain or while taking part of your studies um, while you belong to a Spanish university in another European Union country. So imagine you're a bachelor's degree student who studies fashion design at the University of Coruña in Spain. And for the third year of your degree, you decide to go to Paris. During that year, when you study in Paris, uh, European Union will give you a scholarship which will cover your costs of living. And this is available for international students, for students from Indonesia, regardless of the fact that your um, passport is not a European passport. Once you become a European student, you will have access to this benefit as well. Uh, very, very briefly, if you check the rankings of Spanish universities, you will find that they are especially highly ranked for all kinds of business uh, schools and business and finance and marketing related masters. Uh, for degrees, um, Spanish universities are especially highly ranked for all kinds of engineering, sports science, veterinary, food science, and of course, hospitality and tourism. Um, very, very briefly, I would like to um, focus on the Spanish language. As you probably know, uh, the official language in Spain is not English, it is Spanish. So um, to access uh, public universities in Spain, you will normally need to know um, some Spanish. 
but I wanted to uh, highlight some advantages of learning Spanish for you guys, uh, because um, it is one of the most important and the most growing languages in the world, which means that even learning the language itself is a very very uh, valuable experience, uh, um, investment of, of time and of money uh, that you can do uh, to increase your professional future opportunities. So uh, the number one most spoken language in the world is Chinese Mandarin, but the second most spoken language in the world is actually Spanish. So there are more people in the world speaking Spanish than speaking English. Uh, for uh, non-Spanish native speakers, um, Please rest assured that Spanish is easy to learn. Uh, I am not Spanish. I was an international student in Spain, so I had to learn Spanish myself. And I assure you that this is the language that you can master in six to 10 months. Uh, it's much easier than German, for example. I've also tried new German, so I have this comparison. And then you will be speaking the language, which is an official language in 21 countries. 21 countries you can see on the map right now speak exactly the same language in Spanish. There are many countries where this fact has been already recognized. So in 71 countries in the world, including Philippines, India, the United States, Spanish is the most most studied second language. Uh, this is because there are already many companies that are willing to pay higher salaries to uh, employees who speak Spanish. Um, this is because it's an official language in all international organizations. It's one of six official languages of the United Nations. So if you are looking for an international career, investing in Spanish will definitely be a good idea. For Bahasa Indonesia native speakers, learning Spanish is quite easy. We share many words, um, many, many words sound exactly the same in Spanish uh, and in Bahasa Indonesia. Uh, zapato, bandera, permisi, permiso, sabtu, mingu, gratis, many, many words will sound very familiar to you. And uh, Indonesian students progress with Spanish very, very quickly and very, very well. Uh, another data that proves an importance of uh, Spanish language is that um, in the United States right now, more than 20% of people speak Spanish. You can really tell that because on the streets you can hear a lot of Spanish uh, in the United States these days. But it is predicted that by 2050, more than half of people living in the United States will be speaking Spanish. That's why, again, there are many companies looking for professionals who do not only speak English, but also know Spanish. What is the role of Spanish language in the Spanish university? There are some universities in Spain, as I have mentioned at the beginning of my presentation, who are which are private universities. In those universities, some degrees and some masters are delivered entirely in English. However, those programs will be mostly uh, focused on business. Uh, there is no degree in uh, Spain uh, in engineering or in um, medicine, for example, that is totally uh, delivered in English. It does not exist. You do need to learn some Spanish. So there are some private universities that may teach you uh, in English, but these universities uh, are quite uh, expensive because in private universities, students need to pay 100% of the tuition fees by themselves. So for a private university in Spain, yearly tuition fees are normally between eight up to 20, 24,000 euros per year. But then the whole green field you can see on your screens right now illustrates uh, public universities in Spain. As you remember, I have told you those universities are much more affordable. So in, private, in public universities in Spain, yearly tuition fees start with 600 euros uh, per year. Uh, but those universities uh, will use mostly Spanish. There are some subjects taught in English. There are some English-friendly subjects. There are even some degrees where most of the subjects is taught in English, but you will definitely also need to know Spanish to manage yourself in a state public university in Spain. We don't want you to learn Spanish in Indonesia. Uh, we have developed a preparatory language program where students can learn Spanish here in Spain. Um, I will tell you a little bit more about this program just in a while. Before that, I want to specify um, this um, important point, which is the exact tuition fees in Spanish universities. So what you can see on your screens right now is the map of Spain showing how much students pay for their bachelor's and for their master's per year, depending on the city they choose for their studies. Uh, 
So you can see in most of the regions, in most of the cities of Spain, yearly tuition fees for bachelors and for masters is between 600 and 1,500 euros per year. So for example, there is the second best degree in IT, um, in the computer science in Europe, here in the south of Spain at the University of Granada and the early tuition fees for this degree amount to 14 million rupees. So the exact amount of the tuition fees paid by the students depend on the city you will choose to study in because each local government in Spain decides exactly how high will the subsidy for education be. Those tuition fees you can see on your screens right now will apply to you automatically. It's not a kind of a scholarship you need to apply for um, and wait to get it. Once you get admission to a public university in Spain, automatically these are going to be the tuition fees you are going to pay. There are two areas, two regions in Spain where the tuition fees are more expensive. Uh, the yellow color, um, this mostly refers to the universities in Barcelona and the orange color, which are the universities in Madrid. These universities receive less subsidy for international students, mostly because they are very, very popular among international students already. Uh, so how can you get an admission to a state university in Spain, to a public university in Spain, to benefit from those um, affordable tuition fees? As you can see, there will be no admission tests. There are many degrees and many masters where international students from Indonesia can get admission without any additional tests. You won't be needing GMAT, IELTS, TOEFL, SELEXI. The universities will not be conducting any admission test neither. Are you going to need and this refers both to bachelor's and master's students, is a Spanish language certificate. You need to prove you know Spanish. Most of the universities will ask for B1 or B2 level Spanish language official certificate. Apart from that, students that target bachelor's degree will need to show us uh, the high school uh, diploma, the diploma with the photo, the one that says Lulu's, and the transcripts of records with the last two years of SMA, SMA grade 11 and 12. Uh, bachelor's degree students who are targeting masters will have to show us in their uh, bachelor's degree diploma and the transcripts of records from the bachelor's degree. If you are a holder of an international curriculum high school diploma like AUSMAT, A-Levels or IBD, of course, those curriculums are also very welcome in Spanish public universities. So how do I learn Spanish? How do I get the language certificate uh, that is necessary for admission to public universities in Spain? What we have developed is the pathway to the university, which includes a preparatory period. The first year, which is actually seven to 10 months, is called LCA, which stands from Language, Culture and Adaptation to University. So this is a preparatory program students from um, countries where Spanish is not an official language take before they can continue to bachelor's or to master's. Spanish LC program uh, has a name that stands from language, culture and adaptation to university. Uh, this program has been developed specifically for students from um, other countries who want to take bachelor's or master's in a Spanish public universities and they need to acquire the language certificate. However, this program will not only teach you language, it also includes two very important components, which is culture and adaptation to university. So first of all, our students join Spanish language course at the language center of the University of Vigo, which is a state university here in Spain with a very good language center for teaching Spanish language for international students. You can come and take this course without any prior level of Spanish, with zero level of Spanish. Students go for levels of A1, A2, B1, all the way to B2 level of Spanish, which is an independent user of Spanish, which means you will understand all concepts and you will be able to express any kind of concept in Spanish by yourself. Apart from Spanish language classes at the University of Vigo, our students join outside the classroom activities. 30% of Spanish classes is conducted outside the classroom. So our students join workshops in museums, Spanish cooking class, trips to other cities. We go to the stadium to see a football game, join some sports activities. All of that are typical Spanish lifestyle activities that are delivered in Spanish language, which means that even when you enjoy yourself, you're still learning Spanish. This helps our students to progress with the language and use the language in everyday life. And the results of the students, thanks to that, are very, very good. 
And finally, and this is a very important part of this preparatory program, Spanish LCA includes adaptation to university. So our students join activities at the University of Vigo, aiming to teach them how to be successful student of a Spanish university. We'll teach you how an exam in a Spanish university looks like, how to have a tutorial with your teacher, how to do your assignments, how to use the library, how to work in a team, and so on and so on. So this will give you the specific skill, skills you will need to be a successful student while you start, once you start your bachelor's or your master's. Also, during the adaptation to university part, we will help every single student to choose the university where they will continue for the bachelor's or for the master's after the Spanish LCA program. So even though Spanish LCA program takes place in the specific place, uh, in the specific city in, in Vigo, at the University of Vigo, after this preparatory period of seven to 10 months, once you have a language certificate, you will be good to go to any other city in Spain to continue with your um, bachelor's or master's in any other city. So if you want to go to Barcelona, or if you want to go to Valencia, or if you want to go to Cordoba, Seville, Granada, any city you choose, we will help you to choose the right university for you and we will take care of your admission and your enrollment. So when the Spanish LC program is over, you will have your language certificate and you will also be admitted by at least one public university in Spain. And this is guaranteed before you come to Spain. So why Vigo? Why have we decided that the good place for your first year experience in Spain is Vigo? Uh, Vigo is considered the safest city in Spain. It's a very beautiful city, very green, very close to nature city with beautiful uh, coastline, Atlantic Ocean coastline. Uh, it is a city of, um, that's very welcoming, uh, where people are very friendly, very helpful. It's a medium-sized city where students can go walking everywhere. So basically it's a place where you will feel happy, but you will also feel very safe and very welcome. And this is something that helps the students to adapt to living alone, far away from their countries. There are many, many students living on Vigo, so you make friends with students from all over the world, you have a lot of fun, but you will also be able to focus on learning Spanish. Once you've experienced Spanish culture, once you've learned the Spanish language, you will be good to go to any other city in Spain for your bachelor's or master's. Um, Spanish LCA program, this preparatory program comes together with the package of assistance that Campus Spain gives to every single student. So um, included in this program, you will receive the visa application support. We will pick you up from the airport when you reach Vigo. We'll give you a Spanish SIM card uh, already at the airport so we can contact your family straight from the airport, tell everything's okay. We'll manage your residence permits in Spain, open your Spanish bank account, teach you how to catch a shuttle bus to the university campus, show you around the campus, show you around the new city. During the first year, all our students receive 24 seven emergency contact, which means that they can contact us in case they need to arrange a medical appointment or if they need any kind of help or assistance. And finally, we are the ones who will take care of your admission and enrollment to further bachelor's or master's studies after Spanish LCA program. Um, okay, before we move to uh, questions and answer, I would like to show you the summary of uh, how your budget need to look like uh, in case you want to join this program. So Spanish LCA program costs 7,500 euros. This is the investment students need to do during the first year, the investment in the language certificate in order to be able to access public universities for the following years. So the investment is bigger during the first year, but after that students enter public education system. And for example, all my students from Indonesia who are in Spain right now, for the bachelors, they pay less than 900 euros per year. And all students in masters pay less than 1,000 euros per year. Uh, what's included in the fees for the Spanish LCA program? All the tuition fees at the University of Vigo, all the cultural activities, all the assistance and help from Campus Spain, and the medical insurance is also already included in this amount, 7,500 euros. Uh, another thing that you need to budget is the cost of living. Uh, as you can see at this comparison to other popular study abroad destinations, uh, Spain is quite affordable in terms of cost of living. 
the most important part of your budget will be accommodation and accommodation students accommodation in cities like Vigo is approximately 300 euros per month. So we can see it's much, much cheaper than other popular study abroad destinations, even in our neighbor country, France, it's more than a double expensive. So uh, the cost of food, for example, in the supermarket in Vigo are comparable to cost of food in a supermarket in Jakarta. Students are allowed to have a part-time job. So even during the preparatory language program, you can work up to 20 hours per week, both inside and outside the campus. Um, average monthly spending of an international student in Vigo is 400 to 450 euros per month, including already accommodation, meals, transportation, entertainment, books, uh, mobile phone bill, everything, around 450 euros per month. Um, that's pretty much it. I tried to be brief to leave some space for the uh, for the questions. However, before I finish, let me also uh, share with you guys uh, all our contact data. These days, we cannot visit Indonesia for obvious reasons, uh, but we really regret that. So, uh, in case any one of you would like to um, have an individual Zoom meeting with us, ask some further questions. Uh, regarding our programs, uh, regarding the admissions, um, any kind of doubts you have, uh, feel free to reach me. This is my uh, direct WhatsApp number. Uh, I'm normally work with students from Indonesia, so please feel free to reach me. I would also like to encourage and invite all of you to follow us on Instagram. This is where we tell uh, how is the life of our students uh, going here in Vigo. We have received a new group of students coming from uh, Indonesia just this uh, past October, two months ago. So if you want to check how they progress with Spanish and how they are doing here in Vigo, uh, do follow us on, on Instagram. Okay, so thank you very much. I hope we have questions. Okay, thank you very much, Ms. Kozira, uh, for your presentation. Now we will begin this session of Q&A. Now there are lots of questions here plenty of questions. I think everyone's so excited about Spain. Yeah. Uh, so first question is, uh, hi, does Spain offer the post work study visa and how long the international students are allowed to stay and working in Spain after their graduation? Okay, very good question. Uh, all students who graduate from an official bachelor's or master's degree in Spain can apply for one year extension of the student visa in order to stay in Spain, just to look for a job or try to create their own business. Okay, so this is the initial time you're going to have to look for a job or create your own business one year. Later on, if you have a job in Spain, there is no time limitation as to how long you can stay in Spain. No maximum stay back period. So if, for example, you took your master's, during your master's, you started your uh, internship, you did well in the internship, the company offered you a job, you started to work, you got your work permit, there is no time limitation as to how long you can stay in Spain to work. If you work, you can stay forever. Okay. Thank you for answering that. I think that's pretty clear, yeah? Okay, uh, now the second question. Hola, is it Hola. enough to learn Spanish only from Duolingo to pass the DELE test? Muchas gracias. Um, Duolingo is good, and it's probably uh, possible to get somewhere around A1 with Duolingo. Uh, we always encourage students to try to learn some Spanish while they're still in Indonesia, although it's not obligatory. Uh, reaching the B2 level with Duolingo, I don't think that's possible. Um, there is uh, Instituto Cervantes in Jakarta. Instituto Cervantes is an official center that teaches and examines uh, Spanish language uh, in Indonesia, I would rather suggest you contact uh, Instituto Cervantes to ask about the possibilities of learning Spanish in Indonesia, because probably Duolingo will not be enough. B2 is a high, is an advanced level of Spanish where uh, what you are expected to do is to be able to understand classes in the classroom in the university in Spanish. So. 
students need a very solid preparation. What you guys can do is to start to learn Spanish in Indonesia and join Spanish LCA program only for some determined levels of Spanish. So let's say you reach A2 level in Indonesia, you can come for a Spanish LCA program only for uh, B1 and B2 levels, which will be shorter. And of course, it will also be uh, cheaper this way. So it's always a good idea to start to learn Spanish in Indonesia and then uh, join Spanish LCA for the higher levels. Remember, Spanish LCA is not only about the language, you will also get this adaptation to university. Um, you will familiarize with the culture. That's also important to be a successful student while you step into the classroom to start your master's or your bachelor's degree. Okay, that's answered the question, yeah. Uh, I think it's best for you to have some basic and you can also get it from LCA. And hello, is it Spanish? So the third question, does Spanish government offer scholarship or, not, or any Spanish universities offer scholarship? Um, well, the fact that you only pay 10% of the tuition fees is itself um, can be considered a scholarship. So we don't call it scholarship, we call it subsidy, but um, a regular cost of a degree or in any country uh, is much, much more than what students pay in Spain because the government covers your tuition fees and you only pay a small part. So um, being able to take a master's degree for 800 euros or a bachelor's degree for 700 euros is possible because you already get the scholarship from the Spanish government. On top of that, there are some universities that offer um, master's degrees um, financed by Erasmus uh, funds. So you can always try to look for those universities or you can reach us and we can help you to look for them. And there are some universities that offer further scholarships to the students. However, uh, in my experience, if you decide to study in any European country, uh, it's very difficult to find a fully sponsored program. Uh, the investment uh, on the student side must not be high, but being totally realistic, if you want to study in Europe, you will need to invest something by, from your funds as well. It's very difficult to find a program when everything is covered, the 100% of tuition fees and your cost of living. Uh, why? Even to get your student visa, you will have to prove you have some own funds uh, to support your cost of living, for example. So um, you can find many programs that are subsidized in Europe that are very affordable in Europe, but keep in mind that you will also need to use some of your savings uh, to finance your studies here. Okay, well noted. Now we carry on to the next question. Uh, which private universities in Barcelona or Madrid are taught with full English classes? Um, well, there are some universities in uh, Barcelona and in Madrid uh, that offer programs entirely in English. I would need to know if the student is asking for master's or for bachelor's degree. Um, in any case, uh, these are quite uh, expensive universities. To give you an idea, in Madrid there is IE University that delivers both degrees and masters entirely in English, but the cost of a degree studies in a bachelor's degree in IE University is 18, 20,000 euros per year and masters cost 30, 40,000 euros per year. So those programs uh, which are entirely in English are usually very, very expensive. Okay, next question. Is it okay? We're starting a lot of Q&A here. <laughs> okay, uh, hola, to be a psychologist in Spain, is it true not only through master degree, but also need to complete PIR program? Psicologo interno residente, muchas gracias. I do believe that in order to register as a, a psychologist who is allowed to have your own um your own practice in spain you do need to go through some specific preparation and procedure before you can enroll in an official register of uh, psychologists 
I do not know all the details, but uh, this is um, something that is done in order to uh, protect the patients and uh, make sure only fully qualified professionals works, uh, work as psychologists. And uh, this is something that for sure, if you decide to take masters in psychology, uh, your university will be able to uh, guide you on as well. Okay. Uh, there's a question about GPA. Can they get scholarship in Spain if the GPA is under 2.75 there? Is, is there any requirement around GPA? Uh, there are some scholarships uh, that depend on the GPA of the student. Of course, the highest the GPA, the biggest possibilities of getting a scholarship. However, again, um, most of the cases, uh, uh, you will benefit from the subsidized uh, tuition fees, from the cheap tuition fees, and those cheap tuition fees do not depend on GPA. Every student admitted to the program will pay affordable tuition fees in a public university regardless of the GPA. Okay, so there are certain requirements, of course, on GPA, but there are ways around it. Um, exactly. Yes, and this, is there any age limitation in enrolling bachelor or master degree program in Spain? There is no age limitation. Education is for everyone. So uh, we admit students uh, to Spanish LC programs starting with 16 years old onwards. Okay, so fair enough, yeah, because uh, some country and university sometimes, mostly in Indonesia, usually require certain ages around uh, on four scholarships. Okay, but in Spain, there are no specific requirements. Yeah. Okay, now uh, another question is, can we get scholarships or discount for the LCA program and what about the housing during the LCA program? So we usually try to offer uh, some uh, discounts or scholarships for LCA program as well. All agree on installment payments with the students who have a financial situation that justifies that. So it is possible to apply for a Spanish LCA program and once you get admission, apply for a partial scholarship. It is possible. Um, and the second question, I have, I think I've forgotten that. Um, what was the second question? The first one was about the scholarship and the second one, oh, the accommodation, sorry. Yeah, yes, the accommodation. The accommodation is arranged uh, by, by Campus Spain for the students. Most of our students stay in students' apartments in the city center. And these are shared apartments where only students live, very nice um, standard apartments. Um, and normally the, the monthly cost of the apartments uh, are between 250 euros per month up to 350 euros, depending on the size of the room, if it's an individual room or if you share it with one more student. And this, those amounts, 250 up to 350, already include all the bills, taxes, Wi-Fi. So the overall cost of accommodation per month uh, is between 250 and 350. And the accommodation is paid by the student on a monthly basis. Okay, thank you very much. Unfortunately, that's it for the Q&A session for today. And just a reminder, you can still connect with Ms. Kozira through the information given by her earlier. Okay, so you can screenshot that and give her a call or WhatsApp. <laughs> yeah, and uh, thank you for watching the session and see you in our next session in EHEF Goes Online 2020. Okay, good afternoon. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.